Okay, here I am now at Winkenton for the Somerset Grand National. It's Grand National after Grand National here before the big one next week. So this is over three mile three furlongs and all to 120. Number one is Tina's Apple, two is Windy Miller, three is Nievre, four is Half Hour Hancock, five Cutter Dash, six War Pointer, seven Johnny Cash, eight Coupe de Ville, nine Stoke Hill, ten Eye Catcher, and eleven is Mucky, Mucky Money. No, oh, Lucky Money for Paul Hallen, Peter Hallen. Apologies. So they're away here. They start at the ambulance. They'll have uh, 24 fences to jump. Uh, there's three mile three furlongs, so they'll uh, have plenty to jump. They get to the first. Oh, and lucky money went straight through the top of that and brushed his legs. He'll have to settle better if he wants to get round here. And it's good old Johnny Cash that's going to lead us for Mr. Hollywood. Just picked up the Midlands Grand National. Now looking to follow up with the Somerset Grand National. We go over the second, which is a small little plane fence. Everybody's over it. And it's Johnny Cash that leads us by about five to Stoke Hill and Lucky Money. And then we've got Coupe de Ville and Half Hour Hancock, the great, the first one. And then we followed through by Coupe de Ville, Tina's Apple, Nievery and the Orange Silks. And then the Orange Silks have cut a dash with a blue cap, which is the grey against the fence. And then we've got Windy Miller, War Pointer and Eye Catcher. There we go past the stands. The first of three times, I think. We'll have to go around twice more here at Wincanton. Big nuclear site at Wincanton. Uh, maybe some of those uh, fans have got three arms or four eyes. A bit of fallout. So it's Johnny Cash that still leads us. He's got a four length advantage over Stoke Hill. And into the fifth. Everybody's over that, including the ground, the real eye catcher. Johnny Cash from Stoke Hill, Coupe de Ville, Lucky Money and Half Hour Hancock to the water. The six, everybody's over that as well. We've got Nievre, Cutter Dash, Tina's Apple, length back to Windy Miller and War Pointer, and a couple back just to Eye Catcher. Oh, the leader went through that. Johnny Cash uh, uh, dropped his guitar there. And allowed Stoke Hill to tr almost draw alongside, but Stoke Hill then uh, jockey took a pull. Doesn't want to challenge, he's happy to let Johnny Cash go out on his own. A little bit closer all distance, that poor jump there by Johnny. But it's JC that leads us from Stoke Hill into the ninth. Nice jumps by everybody. Alex Hill's war pointer was a little bit uh, slow over it, gave it a bit of air. But it's Johnny Cash and Stoke Hill. And we've got Coupe de Ville in third. A couple of lengths back, get to the tenth. Oh, we've lost one there. War point has gone. Didn't jump the previous very well. He's a faller. Bad luck, Alex. So still Johnny Cash. By four to Coupe de Ville and Stoke Hill. Moving around the outside now is Lucky Money. Then we've got the first of the Greys, half hour Hancock. The outside of that is Kevin Minihan's Windy Miller. The inside is Cutter Dash in the orange silks of the blue cap. Widest of all is Tina's apple for Darren Thompson. And then I catch her in the every towards the rear, which is Howes and Leadums. So it's Johnny Cash into the 11 that takes it well. As does the remainder. Still another 13 fences to go. And, uh, another circuit. And this is going to take the final bend, the home bend, and line up for the judge. Next time round. So it's still Johnny Cash into the 12th. Gets over it well. Slow jump at the rear by half hour Hancock. But they're all still in this. We've only lost the one. More pointer. So it's still Johnny Cash into the 13th. Not unlucky for anybody. They're all over it. They just continue to bowl along. A little bit Indian file, but not much in it. This will be the last next time round. And they all get over that one successfully. So it shouldn't cause them a problem. Uh, running towards home and here's the crowd quite a big crowd here at Wincanton Range Rover parked in the middle of the park there's the finishing post rain coming down been a pretty miserable week over the national hunt here Cheltenham with the weather oh we lost one there Windy Miller just decided not to do anything jockey didn't uh, didn't really settle in well there so Kevin Mean hands Windy Miller's out of it the 16th, the water, and all over that. Ball jump at the rear by Nievery. Got himself a couple of lengths detached. 
A little closer order now, just over a mile to travel. That's Johnny Cash into the 17th, and all over that. Now with eight from home, it's Johnny Cash and Stoke Hill. He's doing that, uh, just a length within each other. Everybody gets over that ditch. That's Johnny Cash, jockey just pushing him along a little bit, wants to maintain the lead. From Stoke Hill looks uh, comfortable. Out of the pack here comes half hour Hancock the Grey, moving up on the inside. The outside is Tina's Apple. They take the night. Oh, we've lost another one there. Cut a dash has gone. And I catch her unseated his rider. So lost two more. And it's half hour Hancock that's decided to take this up. Six furlongs out. Goes into the ditch, the 20th. You're going to have four left to jump. Yeah, he gets over it as well. Still in the race, so it's half hour Hancock that leads now by a couple to Johnny Cash. Stoke Kill. Here comes Tina's Apple on the outside. Coupe de Ville still in it. Lucky Money in the Evria, nowhere at the moment. So as they take the final bend here, the long slope round towards with five furlongs left to run. Yeah, we've been taken along now by Tina's Apple from half hour Hancock. Tina's Apple being chased now by Coupe de Ville. Stoke Kill starting to move. Sadly, Johnny Cash has got nothing left. He's broke and uh, he's starting to go back backwards but it's Tina's Apple leads him into the 21st they're all over it slow jumps by a couple but it's Coupe de Ville that now takes it up Oh, and Nievra's getting pulled up, so Coupe de Ville in the final home turn. We've only got a couple left to jump. Coupe de Ville takes it up from Tina's Apple. Stoke Hill on the outside. Half hour Hancock. It's going to be between these four. They get to the 22nd. Oh, and a poor jump there by Stoke Hill. It's allowed, allowed, allowed half hour Hancock to move up into third, but it's still Coupe de Ville from Tina's Apple. Half hour Hancock, Stoke Hill. We've only got one left to jump, and it's Coupe de Ville. This is the penultimate. He gets over it as the rest, but it's still Coupe de Ville that leads us. Coupe de Ville. Coupe de Ville by a good couple of lengths here to half hour Hancock, Stoke Hill and Tina's Apple, one more to jump and a furlong left to go, get over it went up a little bit early, here comes Tina's Apple on the outside, Stoke Hill half hour Hancock again, but it's Coupe de Ville but it's Stoke, Tina's Apple, Coupe de Ville needs the line, Coupe de Ville, Tina's Apple Coupe de Ville, Coupe de Ville Tina's Apple just noses in front, bad luck for Doug Warren there as top weight Tina's Apple for Darren Thompson just noses in front takes it up he just didn't judge that last fence very well, Coupe de Ville. You'd be pulling your hair out, Doug. Just getting pipped on the post there. So Tina's apple takes it for Darren Thompson. Second was Coupe de Ville for Doug Warren. Third was Stoke Hill for James Follis. Fourth was half hour Hancock for Mr. Gray. And we'll see who picked up the last bit of money. Who was fifth? He was a long way back. He was lucky money. And he was a 15 lengths back for Peter Hannum. So well done, Mr. Thompson. OK, well, join me over at Fakenham for the last few races of uh, day three of the National Hunt. And uh, I'll catch up with you there.